Tony Garrett's Getting to the Root of the Matter teaching series and answer sheet, now available on Amazon. Our adversary can influence and affect us in many ways, in our minds, strongholds, in our bodies, sicknesses, and worldly lusts, and in our hearts, offenses, bitterness, hurts from neglect and abuse. Let's begin our spiritual journey through the Word of God. Tony Garrett's Getting to the Root of the Matter, Teaching Series, and Answer Sheet. Now available on Amazon. Get your copy today. Shalom, everybody. Bobby Wilson here. Love to you there. How you doing? But let me explain. When I realized the Lord allowed me to wake up this morning and I could see, I could hear, I could touch, I could taste, I could smell, and I could walk and talk, and above all, I realized that I have received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I'm not going to spend eternity in hell. Woo, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. And I say to you, if you woke up this morning, in other words, the Lord touched you and your eyes opened up and you realize that you are awake, <laughs> it's a good thing to be awake, okay? And you can walk and you can talk and you got your five senses and you have received the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'm sure you're grateful and thankful. It's another day that we get an opportunity to share the love of God. That's why I'm here. No other purpose, no other reason but to share the love of God. I have freely received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And no doubt you have, and if you haven't, do it right now. Come on, let's take care of that right from the jump. Romans 10, verses 9 and 10, it says, But if thou shalt believe in thine heart and confess with thy mouth that God raised Jesus from the dead on the third day, thou shalt be saved. That's your salvation. Believing that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures and with your mouth. <laughs> Confess it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. I only have a short time with you. Uh, so come on, join me. If you're not a Christian, come on, join me and become a disciple of Jesus Christ. That's why I'm here to share the love of Christ. Uh, hey, I was born in sin, shaping in iniquity. I walked this earth, lived on this earth, a sinful life for many years, many days. And then I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, the salvation of the Lord, that I could be saved from my sins. Yes, I sinned uh, once upon a time because I was born in sin and I was a sinner. <laughs> Chased sin, did everything I could to please this flesh. I realized that those things I was doing was only pleasing my flesh, was not pleasing God. And I got convicted in my heart that God loves me, that he has a better, a better way for Bobby to live, a better way. I'm talking about in the 70s. Now I'm giving away my age. Yes, I, I made that very important decision back in the 70s, back in the day to commit my life, to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. And today I'm here witnessing to you that you can do the very same thing. Live a better way. There's a better way. God has a great plan for your life, a marvelous, majestic plan for your life. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, 
I'm Bobby Wilson. I approve God's message to you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Not only you, but your household. Hey, we're all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. If you were born of a woman, <laughs> according to the book of Genesis in the Holy Bible, you and I were born in sin. The only way we can be released and rescued from sin is by faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. By believing Jesus Christ is Lord. By believing God raised him from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. Now, the whole story, go, you can start in Isaiah, <laughs> all the way to the New Testament. You come to the book of Matthew in the New Testament, where, where it describes and gives us the birth of Jesus Christ. And we don't know the exact year or the exact day, <laughs> irrelevant. What we do know he was born of a virgin. Hey, you got to believe that too. That's supernatural <clears throat> birth. See, God is spirit. God is a spirit. He is a spirit. Oh, yes. Get it, get it, get it. God is spirit. He is a spirit. And y'all know the rest. Some of you know. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Come on, join me. But in St. Matthew, we know that Jesus Christ was born. Like, like I mentioned, we don't know the exact day, hour, <laughs> week, month, or year. But we do know Jesus Christ was born. He lived on this earth 33 years. You've probably heard of the Easter story. Christians, believers, we call it Resurrection Sunday because we believe that he, he was falsely accused according to the scriptures. Read the New Testament. He was falsely accused because he took a stand on his purpose and the reason why he was on this earth. There were many people who came against Jesus Christ because he declared, he said, he was from God, that God was his father. And they accused him, you know, many, many times. But the whole story was that he was falsely accused. <laughs> he was hung on a cross. He bled and died. Come on, read it. It's in the New Testament. You know the story. Maybe you don't. It's in the New Testament. Read it. He died. He gave his life. He gave up the ghost, the scripture says. He was buried in a tomb on that third day. They came to that tomb and rolled the stone away, saw that Jesus' body was not there. God raised him from the dead on the third day. Hey, listen, it's true. It's true. God raised Jesus Christ from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures, and with his stripes, I'm healed. And you can be healed if you've received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Come on. 2023 is just about over. Start 2024 as a disciple of Jesus Christ. That's why I'm here. Hey, are you dressed? <laughs> Are you dressed up? <laughs> I'm not talking about this suit and tie I have on. I'm going to talk about being dressed up in a few minutes. But listen, the main thing is that you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on him. Read the Bible. Start in the New Testament. <laughs> like St. John. Come on, come on, St. John. Come on, read, read, read St. John. That, well, that's a good place to start. Hmm. What about Colossians and Ephesians? Find out who you are in Christ Jesus. Romans. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then there is the Old Testament. That's much we can learn from the New Testament. We can learn about the character of God, how he dealt with his people. In the book of Genesis, all the way in the Old Testament, how he dealt with kings. 
Oh, my gracious. Come on. Come. It's an exciting life in Christ. Exciting life in Christ. Oh, yes, it is. Even in 2023 of everything we've experienced. Oh, we've experienced some ups and downs in 2023. But if you're listening to me or you're viewing me, that means we are still here. And God has a purpose for your life. You, you are not an accident. Oh, no, 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 no. That God don't make any mistakes. Uh, maybe you're not uh, proud of how you got here. Or who you don't know who brought you here. You don't know who your mom or dad is. Or maybe they rejected you. Hey, but listen, you wasn't aborted. God has his hand on you. He has a great, a better plan for your life by following Jesus Christ. It's personal. It's personal. You make the decision that you're going to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It doesn't matter what others do, what others say. It comes down to you, that you and your heart Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and get on board. Come on, walk with God. Walk with Jesus Christ. Talk with Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm going to tell you, it's an exciting life. Yeah, everything's not peaches, roses, and ice cream, and cookies, and cake, and candy. <laughs> no, 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 no. But listen. God promised to help those who believe him and receive Jesus Christ as his or their savior. Come on, come on, come on. You try, most of you, I would say many of you, you try everything else and everybody else. Come on, join me. Let's walk together and believe Jesus Christ is Lord. Listen, I'm a witness. He changed my life. I was a sinner. <laughs> I was a sinner. I'm not bragging, but God changed my life. I had habits, addictions. Oh my great, I chased after stuff to make this body feel good. And as I mentioned earlier, I realized that what I was doing to please me was not pleasing God. I was convicted by the gospel message. Oh, I received the Lord Jesus Christ. And according to the scriptures, I've been born again. Have you? And not this physical body. No, no, no. We're not going back into our mother's womb. <laughs> it's a spiritual birth. Born again. Born again in your spirit. Oh, come on, join me, join me. Make a decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. It's a wonderful life. And listen, God will give you victories that you can't win by yourself. He's the almighty God. <laughs> mighty God. Yes, heavenly father God. He's a mighty God. Mm, 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 mm. And listen, his word. His word, his word. There's a scripture that says he sent his word and healed them. With all the sicknesses we have in our country, in our nation, and the world. Thank God for doctors. and Thank God for medicines. Thank God for the scientists. Thank God for all the technology that is available to help us when we have problems in our bodies. And believe me. You will experience, I have experienced being sick, being afflicted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had challenges with my mind. Like I said, habits, bad habits, fleshly habits. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like I told you a minute ago, I realized that everything I was doing to please my body, <laughs> my soul, it was against God. And his commandments. And I realized I had to align myself in, with God to get the blessings of God. They, they, hey, listen, God ain't Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I, I was going to say another term, too, but I'm not going to go there. But God has blessings for you and me. We must obey him to receive the blessings of the Lord. Obedience. 
obedience to God's word brings blessings to you, your family, your loved ones. Don't you want to be blessed? <laughs> in times like these, we are in the last and evil days, y'all, you all. Listen, don't live the rest of your life without Christ. Come on, start now, start afresh. If your back slid, simply means that at some point you turn your back on God. <laughs> I want to tell you, turn back to God. Turn, come on back to the Lord Jesus Christ. His word is true. I know what they're saying about the Christian life. I hear it every day, all on social media. Everybody tired, pointing the finger, ain't nothing to Christians and looking at what somebody else done. Yeah, I see it too. You got to go for yourself. You got to go bust. Make a move. Bust a move. <laughs> Don't know if they still use that, that, that term. You are an individual. Don't follow the crowd unless they following after Jesus Christ. Oh, my gracious. I, I hope I can get this over to you. God has a better way for you to live your life. He has a great, majestic, marvelous, holy plan for you. If you just believe, nothing you can do on in yourself to please God. No, no, no. We can't please God in the flesh. Uh, it's not about going to a house. <laughs> uh, something. Come on, come on. Let's go to church. No, no. Don't, don't, don't go. Don't go to church. Be the church. This time now for Christians to be the church. Don't just go to church. Hey, millions of people go to church. They go, they go, they go. Lives not changed, nothing happening in the life. Be the church. Be one of the call out ones. I no, I think God is calling you right now. Somebody, you, you, God is calling you right now. He he said, come on, come on. He said, believe this gospel. You, you, God talks to you. In your heart, in your spirit, God's tugging at you, saying, come on, come on, come on, come come on, my friend. Come on, my sister. Come on, my brother. Come on, whatever your name is, God is calling you. <laughs> Sound like a song to me. God is calling you, Y-O-U. He has a better plan for your life. Oh, listen, there's problems in our nation, no doubt. We are in trouble. This nation is in trouble. The, in Psalms, it mentions, look it up in the book of Psalms. It says, the nation that forgets God shall be turned into hell. Now, you look up the word of hell. No, th 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 that's the, no people say, I'm going through hell. It could, could mean that they're unhappy, that they're, they have lack of money or finances, or just everything is going Topsy turvy in their life, nothing working out for them. They feel left alone. You know, some people call that hell. But the, listen, spiritually speaking, hell, oh my gracious. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, we're going to die one day. Everybody. It's appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. Jesus Christ will save you from spending eternity in hell. Listen, there's no middle ground. We will spend eternity somewhere. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He secures your 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 your, your mm, mm, eternal security is what I just thought of. Come on, get saved. Get saved. Get saved. Look in the Holy Bible and find out what God's salvation is. Oh, the salvation of the Lord. There's nothing better when you adhere, when you apply the gospel of Jesus Christ to your life. Listen, help me share this good news with somebody. There's no good news in the world. Not talking about these mountains and trees and land. When God talks about the world, when Jesus Christ speaks about the world, he's speaking to and about 
unbelievers, those men, women, boys, and girls who have not received him as their personal savior. That's why I'm here. I'm going to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't need a collar. <laughs> really don't need this suit. <laughs> All I know, I'm going to be a witness on God changing my life for the better, y'all. Sure, I got problems. Everything not going right in, in my surroundings. I have situations, challenges. Body gets sick sometimes, don't feel good. Loved ones push you aside, reject you. <laughs> Who don't go through that? Everybody going through that. The culture is anti-Christ, anti-God. But listen, God has called me out, and I answered the call by saying, yes, Lord, here am I. I'm glad about it. That's why I'm here sharing with you. No other reason but to share the gospel, the love of God. Come on. You feeling like you are not loved? Let me tell you, if no one told you yet, God loves you. Heavenly Father, God. Y'all know, y'all know what we know as some call it the Lord's Prayer. It's really the disciples' prayer. And I'm coming to a close where it says, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed, holy be thy name. Thou kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever Amen. Pray that prayer as often as you can every day. In it, you're speaking to God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you're giving him adoration, first of all. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed. Be thy name. Holy be your name. I adore your name. I give you praise, Father. And then we say, Lord, your kingdom come as it is in heaven. So be it in earth. Then we start talking about what we might need. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. He's able <laughs> to give you and your family your daily bread every day. God will supply your need. Listen, I'm a witness. <laughs> Every need, first of all, that need of salvation, I received the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, redeemed from the curse of the law. I have received, I have received, let me be a witness. I have received the gift of God, which is the Holy Ghost and with power. Don't, don't, don't shortchange yourself and don't let nobody else deny you what God has for you. People will tell you ain't nothing to God, ain't nothing to that Christianity. Uh, it's a pipe dream. No, it isn't. It's reality. We're all looking. So many people, even once upon a time early in my life, before I received Christ, I was looking for everything, everything to satisfy me. Drinking alcoholic beverages, smoking different things, taking pills, trying to satisfy my soul. But like I said, I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and I said, Lord, I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of this. Uh, Change my life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. <laughs> yes, Lord, I'm a sinner. I've been a sinner. Please forgive me, God. I've sinned against you. Guess what? He did that for me. And I'm a witness. He will change your life for the better. Hey, he'll be with you. Listen, this year, we've lost loved ones. Oh, every Month, every week, 
someone transitions out of this life close to me on a weekly basis sometimes. But there's consolation when you know that person, your loved one, has received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. And some of you have heard to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yes, I miss my mother. I miss my loved ones and my cousins. It hurts. But God will comfort you. The Holy Ghost is the gift of God. He will comfort you. He will guide you and he will lead you. We're living in the last and evil days, perilous times, evil times, deception everywhere from the political realm, politics, down to our neighborhoods, crime. Oh my gracious, these are the last and evil days. Wars and rumors of wars is happening now. Our only hope, our only salvation is faith in God and receiving his son, Jesus Christ. I love you. Oh, yes, I do. Some of you I've seen recently. Some of you I haven't seen in a while. But Bobby here, love to you there. Let's continue to walk in love. Faith worketh by love. Listen, everything I just told you is all by faith. You don't need no money to buy God. In fact, you can't buy nothing from God. It's all by faith. By just believing. Hey, listen, you know that saying? <laughs> if you don't believe something, you'll fall for nothing. Who wants nothing? If you don't believe something, you'll fall for everything. Listen, a solid, successful Life is what God's plan is for you. Finances, health-wise, mental-wise, people are dealing with mental illness. God has a better way. Thank God for the medicines. Thank God for the counselors and the therapists and who do what you need to do to get help for yourself. But above all, first of all, let Jesus Christ be your Lord and Savior. Just tell him right now, Lord, come on into my heart. I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. I repent of my sins. I believe God raised you, Jesus Christ, from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And with your stripes, Lord, I'm healed. Mm, 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 mm. St. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Remember, if you live to be 120, <laughs> it's no guarantee that any of us are going to live the very next day. The next day tomorrow is not promised. But one thing we know, that with Christ, we have eternal life. He provides eternal life. This body may perish. And according to the scriptures, it's appointed unto man once to die. And then the judgment. Be ready for the judgment by receiving the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. Listen, thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to share with you on Bobby Wilson, Fun, Faith, Family, and Music. Oh, yes, that's the only reason I'm here is to share the love of God with you. That if you're in darkness, things seem dark to you in your life and your family's life. Jesus Christ, he said, I am the light of the world. I am the truth and the light. Hey, don't listen to all these other people talking about uh, they're the truth, they got a way, they are the way, and oh, da, 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 self uh, self-proclaimed prophets, and you know, I'm this, I'm this. Listen, Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is the way, the truth, and the life. God said in the Old Testament, they was, Moses said, well, God, God, Moses had been with God and God said, Lord, who shall I say 
sent me. Who, who, who shall I say? God simply says, I am. Tell him I am. <laughs> Jesus said, I am. Jesus is God. Oh, yeah. Don't let that confuse you. Old Testament, New Testament. I love you. I, I'm hoping to see you real soon, okay, in person. Listen, COVID is over with. Yes, there's a new variant, new strains. Listen, make your way to the house of prayer. There's some church open now. Get going. <laughs> Find yourself in the house of the Lord, not just on Sunday or Sunday evening or Wednesday night. Every day, walk with God every day. Walk with God every day. Bobby Wilson here. Love to you there. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. Tony Garrett's Getting to the Root of the Matter teaching series and answer sheet. Now available on Amazon. Our adversary can influence and affect us in many ways, in our minds, strongholds, in our bodies, sicknesses, and worldly lusts, and in our hearts, offenses, bitterness, hurts from neglect and abuse. Let's begin our spiritual journey through the Word of God. Tony Garrett's Getting to the Root of the Matter teaching series and answer sheet. Now available on Amazon. Get your copy today.